Hello and welcome to War Games Guru. So, looking at this crate, we've got a load of grenades. That's an ammunition crate, and we're going to paint it up today. I've already placed it on a piece of balsa just so I can hold it, and I'm going to use a bad and black. So, what I'm going to do with the bad and black, I'm going to add a little bit of water, a little bit of flow improver, just a little bit in the lid, about sort of ten percent mix, I suppose, just that when I'm painting it, then um, I'm going to be able to get it into all the nooks and crannies. So it's like a very, very thick wash in effect. Um, you know, when you're doing this, uh, the other thing I would suggest is use an old brush because it's almost like dry brushing in a way because you're going over all the surfaces quite roughly. So an old fat brush like this one is absolutely perfect. So just grab the paint and splash it all over and uh, allow it to dry. So now that's dried, um, we're going to move on to painting the crate itself. Now I'm going to be painting this up for the 77th Valhallen Rapid Response Regiment, Imperial Army. Um, so I'm going to be using Castellan Green, which is obviously the basic colour for the uh, Imperial troops. So Castellan Green I'm going to be painting absolutely all over the model. Um, the only areas I'm going to leave are the black bands and handles, which I'll be doing in a bronze effect later on. Okay, now that's dried, I'm going to be using a Nuln Oil Wash. Nuln Oil over the top of Castellan Green, I hear you cry. Uh, yeah, Agrax is the normal thing people do, but I'm going to put Nuln on because I want really deep, dark uh, shading uh, to be right in the, in the basis of this, uh, this model. So, Nuln Oil all over the whole thing, nice and, uh, you know, liberally, just spread it all over and again, allow that to dry. So now that's dry, you get a nice big fat dry brush. This is the largest one that uh, Games Workshop do. I do like Games Workshop dry brushes. I think they're good quality for what they are. And I'm going to use good old Castellan Green again. This is the base colour. We're now going back to the base colour again after a null wash. So get a little tiny bit on the end of your brush, not too much. Don't overload it as you can see there. And then using some rough tissue, uh, you want to rub most of that off. So this is going to be a palette which you're going to continue to add other colours to um, as we go along. So make a nice area, rub it away, keep going until it starts to fade away so that when you brush on the white paper, as you see here, you start to get a very faint outline. And then simply dry brush the whole thing. Uh, don't worry about the black metal work, go straight over the top of it, dry brush the whole thing in Castellan Green and allow to dry. Once that's dried, we go straight to Strachan Green, which is the next one up in that spectrum. Um, I, if you notice what I'm doing here, I'm actually going to mix it onto the, um, the actual uh, palette that I already used uh, for the Castellan Green, which will help mix that Strachan in a little bit better. Uh, moving straight on to Ushabanti Bone. Uh, mix a little bit of that onto it and straight onto your palette again. Um, if you see there, you see it blending in and it's making the colour an Ushabanti, Strachan, Castellan sort of green rather than just a straight Ushabanti, which would be too light. So, uh, get uh, load the brush up, dry brush it all off again and then apply it all over the whole model as you can see what I'm doing here. So when you finish with that particular dry brush, we're going to go on now and do some details on the grenades. We're going to go back to Strach and Green, um, and we're going to use a fine brush now. So we're going to be using a detail brush. And uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pick out the little pineapples on the grenades. So the little square bits that all come off when the grenade explodes and you know lands in the face of Chaos Troops. I'm just going to touch those on every grenade. So the main three down the center are the ones that you can see me doing there. Um, follow that right the way through, doing all of them. Okay, once you've covered all those grenades, you can see there the little things are starting to pop out a little bit. We're going to be shading them a lot more uh, shortly. So now we're going on to Rune Fang Steel, and we're just going to do the little handles on the sides which pop off and hit you in the eye when you throw a grenade. Uh, so they run down the side of one side of the grenade. So just run a little bit of Rune Fang straight down there on each one um, and then we're going to do a little bit of Rune Fang on the top and the bottom of the grenade. Guys, so now we're going to go on to the bronze effect 
banding on these uh, ammo crates. And the reason I'm using bronze effect is because, like I say, in the grim dark future, where there is only war, everything is a little bit retro and lots of brass and bronze and all that around. So bronze for the army makes it look a little bit retro um, and it really suits this green. So the bronze I'm using here is Gehenna's gold. So it's not bronze at all, it's a very dull gold. And the reason I do it is because it comes out very bronzy, especially when you highlight it later on with a little bit of owl rock, as you will see. So cover all the banding in the bronze and uh, allow it to dry. Okay, so the time has come now, that's dried, uh, for the Agrax Earthshade. You can't really do anything without a bit of Agrax. So this will give it a muddy, uh, dark, uh, dirty effect, um, which will tone in all the previous colours. So you go over the entire box, all the grenades, everything, over it, all the metalwork, um, the whole thing, cover the whole thing in Agrax, uh, and allow it to dry. And that's what it should look like when it's dried. A nice, dirty, horrible box. So what we do now is we pick out some fine highlights to finish off, and then this box will really start to pop out. So let's go back to our good old Strachan Green. Give that a bit of a shake. Nice big fat old brush. Um, it, this is actually a Games Workshop dry brush, but it's a smaller one. And uh, let's again rub away all the uh, excess until it really is uh, completely almost dry on that tissue. You can see there's nothing coming off. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do a rubbing technique as opposed to a dry brushing technique. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to very, very lightly just go right between the bands, uh, almost in the centre of the green, and just try and highlight it and do little circular motions, rubbing it on there, just to bring out a bit of a worn sort of uh, greeny pattern to the uh, to the crate, as opposed to a, a light, edgy, dry brushed pattern. So things when they tend to wear out, they tend to wear out in a, a worn kind of way, a bit of a, a sort of a smeared kind of way, um, rather than a very sharp dry brushed way so as you can see here what I'm doing is just rubbing in the center bringing it up each layer until it really starts to stand out and pop. Um, when you do get there like, like there's lids here just rubbing them gently in circles you can see how they just start to look stained and bad and damaged and worn and used and like they've been transported all around the uh, universe. We're going to move on to a little bit more highlighting now. Uh, we're going to go back to uh, the Strachan green, and um, we're going to grab the Strachan, and we're just going to very, 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 very lightly pick out some of those little pineapples on the grenades down the centre. Is probably all you need to do just to make them really stand out in the box. Um, and like, like I say, because they've already been highlighted several times and washed, now they really start to look like individual little grenades in the box, waiting to be thrown in the face of uh, corn berserkers um, although they wouldn't be doing a lot against corn berserkers because they're frag grenades but I digress so once that's done a um, little bit of, of um, rune fang rune fang steel just tiny little dots here and there on the metalwork to make the metalwork shine and stand out not everywhere uh, just a few bits here and there on the tops certainly don't cover as much as you did earlier um, leave a lot of the burnished uh, stained metal underneath and then um, you should start to get the grenades looking like that. And you can see they, look, they almost look like you could pick them out of the box and throw them. Um, and then to finish, Ulrich Armour Gold. Uh, very, very fine brush. Very small brush strokes. Just a couple of dabs here and there. Just to make that um, um, bronzy banding really sort of stand out and look like it's scratched and damaged and, and old. So just very, very fine. Little tiny tiny uh, brush strokes here and there and um, leave most of it as it is just a couple of those uh, lines just to make it really stand out so just a bit on the edges And often when you're doing these kind of highlights, less is more. Um, when you do too much highlighting like this, what happens is the hour at gold would actually take over and the band would actually start to look gold rather than bronze, which has been, you know, kind of uh, damaged and scratched up, uh, as you can see there. On the hinges, just do the very tops of the hinges, just to give them a little bit of a shine and a look. And um, yeah, that's it, highlight away. I 
so you can't really stress enough less is more as you see there I'm just doing where the handle would have been held by the hand which would have shined up that bronzy brass and there you go so I hope you like the, the effect that that's got um, it's uh, you know it's a, a decent little ammo crate and it's you know it's taken sort of 20 minutes or so to paint uh, not including drying time and it looks great next to the figures so I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did please like and subscribe and uh, I'll continue to make them I try to do them in a you know a normal person type way not an expert painter type thing so uh, if you're a normal person like me hopefully you'll pick up a few bits of tips and advice so like and subscribe and um, I'll see you next time thanks for watching